Most of you will have no clue how somebody can be so excited over an unboxing, but you're seriously about to find out. Look what is in this box. I got this three terabyte hard drive, and I've got this very awesome thing that I've been wanting to get for a while now. Actually, when I won my $1,000 Amazon gift card that I did a video on, like it was called My Christmas Came Early, I actually had it in my cart but I replaced it with a couple other things since this was out of stock. And I was so sad. <laughs> I wanted to get this so bad and it was out of stock on Amazon. Well, I have it here today with me and it's got a fan, two fans inside it. It's eSATA USB 3.0. It, it'll have four 3.5 desktop hard drives or four 2.5 laptop hard drives, you can mix and match. You can have a desktop, desktop, laptop, laptop, or laptop, desktop, 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 or laptop, 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 desktop. You know, whatever. And each one has its own little button, and I'll oh, just shut up and over this thing already. This is, this is, ah! You just can't possibly understand my excitement. And this right here, uh, it was, I wanted to get the Western Digital, because I have a, uh, Western Digital Black, but the highest they make them is two terabytes. And if you want the three terabyte, you've got to settle with 5,400 RPM. Well, from my experience using a single docking station, that's USB 3.0, uh, freaking 5,400 RPM will only transfer about 58 megabytes a second on average. While I have some freaking 7,200 RPM hard drives that transferred about 114 megabytes a second the whole time and I don't know about you but when I'm transferring terabytes of data I like that to be fast so I went ahead and went with the Seagate or Seagate however you want to pronounce it since it was a hundred and like twenty dollars and it was three terabytes and it was you know 7200 rpm contents made in Thailand I'll have a link to this and a link to that, and a link to the Western Digital one too, if you're a, more of a Western Digital than a Seagate fan. I've never had my issues with Seagate. I, you know, I don't know. If they made a three terabyte, 7,200 RPM hard drive, I'd probably buy that instead just because of the reviews. But there you go, 3,000 gigabytes. Check that out. I am honestly like freaking, ah, I want to open this. I want to get it open. I want to get it out of this thing that it's in, pull it out. Oh, that's huge. That is freaking big and huge. Holy crap. So, well, this is insane. This is, this is like Christmas. Oh, cool. You can see the fans, the ventilation the bottom one there and one there yeah you can see that warning please ensure data transfer to all drives is complete before turning on or off otherwise data loss will be yeah so make sure you safely eject the drive before you power it down uh, just something I've lost 32 gigs on an SD card simply because I pulled it out too early and pulled it out too early <laughs> Oh my god. Anyways, yeah, safely, Jack. Don't just pull it out. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> okay, so what is in this thing? What is in this thing? So it looks like a desktop thingy, and then... There's the power that goes into it. And then here's the USB 3.0 that we will be using. Thank you very much, StarTech, or yeah, StarTech, for including this type of USB 3.0 connection. I really, really like it. I cannot stand these types of USB 3.0 connections. They're just so flimsy and they break really, really easily, and I hate them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the eSATA. I have never in my life used eSATA. My brother has a laptop, the HP laptop that has eSATA and USB 3. I don't know if like eSATA is more efficient 
if it's faster or if USB 3.0 is faster and more efficient. I don't know, but I don't have eSATA, so this will be going in the box in case I ever do get a computer that has eSATA and if eSATA is better. I don't know. I don't get this at all. Oh, I bet you this is like some kind of an adapter for like, oh, because this plugs into there and then this probably goes to like some other countries. I don't know. I'm in the United States. I've always been in the United States. The only country I've ever been in was the Philippines and that was, I was like two years old and my dad was stationed in the Air Force. I've lived in freaking San Bernardino, Rio Linda, Sacramento, Arizona. <laughs> Anywhere that has an Air Force base, I've probably been there. This thing is freaking huge. And I like this. I really do. Because if you have a laptop hard drive, it's got its little slot right here. So it's not like, you know, wobbling back and forth and flopping around in there. It's it's going to stay there and it's not going to go anywhere. So, alrighty. That just clearly goes in there like this. Nice secure connection. Not very much room for it to wiggle around and break something as you can imagine i do have hard drives and i will go ahead and fill these up real quick and i'm gonna plug this up uh usb3 this part goes in here like a laptop oh, that's a good connection oh wow yeah let's get a shot oh this is the other part okay so this is for people that aren't in the united states they include this type of connector, which I've never in my life seen before, and this type of connector, which might be the 240 volts? I don't, or 100, the, like the vacuum ones? Like, not vacuum, but for like your washer and dryer? Oh, whatever. <laughs> this is the one I'm concerned about. I'm in Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm in the United States, so this plugs into the wall. This plugs into where it says DC in, like such, and then your USB 3.0 connection that goes to your computer, or if you have eSATA and you don't have USB 3.0, or if eSATA is better than 3.0, I don't know. You've got separate speed controls for the fans that are in there. That is awesome. So it's got uh, ventilation to the bottom, and then it blows it out this way. And if you want to eject a hard drive, you just press this in and it ejects it let's go ahead and put you know four hard drives in there okay so I couldn't find a second laptop hard drive but I did find my smaller one of them so that goes in there like such and then this 320 gig hard drive it goes in there like this and then this two terabyte drive goes in there like such all right and I've got power to the unit I can turn the fans on why is there not all right I want to stress to you that this computer is not USB 3.0 my laptop in the in the uh living room is currently exporting my Nexus 7 video and I can't record on that right now because it's doing that and I, I got dual monitor set up and everything's all it's it's a Asus Republic of Gamers gaming laptop so it's pretty much just like a desktop plug this into the back here okay uh, please ensure data transfer to all drives is complete. All right, so I need to peel this off. And I, I remember seeing something about each drive having its own separate power, like, button or something. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. I have found it. It is under this tape. Okay, that'll have to do for now. So, at this point, I'm going to go ahead... That's got to come off. Whatever, I'll make it look nicer later on. But, so you press the power button. Oh! You can hear the fan spinning up. Let's go ahead and turn on all four of these. And those fans are kicking in and moving some air. 
You can hear all the drives. Oh, they got little, like, indicators. You know, there's activity going on each one. Like, that one just flashed, that one flashed. Dude, this is nice. Installing drivers. Um, all the drives are popping up at one time. I'll take a screenshot of this. Okay, so here we go. Let's go to the computer. And look at that. Look at that. Three of the hard drives are showing up. My two terabytes full. This one's full. I don't, I don't know why the... So when you go to safely eject it, it pretty much just safely ejects all of them. Yeah. You can cut the power. And I'm going to reseat all of them. Oh, you know what? It was a three terabyte. The three terabyte has not been formatted yet. That's why it's not showing up in the thing. I will go to disk management and I'll take a screenshot since you can't really see that. I know. It's so cool how like if th if this one's transferring something, it's and it tells you right here HDD4. It's got a little light that flashes, letting you know that drive has activity going on. This thing is going to oh my goodness, this is going to get a crap ton of use. Yeah, I'm only seeing three drives. So if I go to computer and then I go to manage, and then I go to disk management. It says right there uh, that the disk is needs to be formatted for it to work. Uh, I'm going to like the master boot partition, and then there's the three terabyte hard drive right there. I'll take a screenshot of this as well. So yeah, I just from playing it th this moment, I cannot str recommend this enough. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer a. 348 megabyte file to the uh, to for to this little laptop hard drive here, which is HDD1. Let's go ahead and transfer a file to it, and see right there, it's light, it's lit up, and it's letting you know there's activity going on. Uh, this is USB 2.0. I cannot stress that enough, so unfortunately it's not going to go as fast as it possibly could. But this is very, very nice. If I was to transfer something to all four of these drives, all four of these would be lit up. The only thing I'd like to see is when I go to safely eject it, if there was a way to like eject an individual one. Like if I press down on the button, I'm not safely ejecting it unless I go to the computer and I press eject. And, but then it ejects all of them. So that's the only thing I'd like to see. I paid $150 for this. And at this point, I'm super, super satisfied. With my single USB 3.0 hard drive bay, I was loving it. Absolutely loving it. Had no issues with it at all. And my only issue actually was if I had just bought in this three terabyte hard drive and I wanted to get the data from say this 500 gig hard drive right here, over to this one, I'd have to plug in my, you know, 500 gig hard drive and say the laptop, but the hard drive inside my laptop only has 200 gigs left. I'd have to transfer the 200 gigs onto my computer's lot, my computer's hard drive, and then uh, like erase the files that I copied, like move them from here to there, and I only did 200 gigs of the 500. So I've got to unplug it plug in the three terabyte, transfer the, the 200 gigs of files that I transferred to my computer, transfer them to the three terabyte, then put, you know, eject that, put the 500 gig back in there, transfer 200 more gigs to the space that I freed up on here, and then you pull that out, put the three terabyte in, take that 200 gigs, put it in there, and I gotta do that three times total because if I only have 200 gigs available of you know, leftover space on the internal hard drive on here, I, hopefully you get the point. I gotta keep dumping everything from one drive onto my computer 
and then taking the old drive out, putting a new drive in, dumping all the stuff that I saved from here onto there. And that was just a pain in the butt when you've got three terabytes, two terabytes, 500 gigs, 250 gigs, and other huge hard drives. Like it was so freaking annoying doing that. No more, no more. I can dump this 320 gig hard drive and this 500 gig hard drive onto this three terabyte hard drive and I can do it all at the same time and I don't have to keep hot swapping drives to do it. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to get to. I can dump these three hard drives all on here without transferring stuff onto my computer first. And if your computer doesn't have a full 500 gigs free, you've got to keep doing it multiple times. And it's just, it's time consuming and annoying. I cannot, I, I simply cannot recommend this enough. USB 3.0, 114 megabytes a second transfer rate, copying from your computer to your hard drive. At USB 3.0, once you play with it, once you experience the speeds, you will swear you will never ever go back to USB 2.0. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets us know you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos like this. I can do a speed test if you if enough people comment in the comments below and go, hey, you know, I want to see a speed test. I want to see this hooked up to your gaming laptop that has USB 3.0. I want to see you copying files and if, leave comments on what you'd like to see. And if I get enough comments, I'll do it. And if I have free time, I would love to do a full review of this and <laughs> show it in the living room with my USB 3.0 Asus Republica Gamers laptop transferring files from my 480 gigabyte Corsair Force GT SSD onto these drives and the other, it's got two hard drives in it and then I, the other one's an actual like mechanical drive. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm gonna go play with this beauty and I'm gonna go dump the files I've been me meaning to dump for a while from the G74SX's 480 gig SSD that I installed and the other 500 gig hard drive that's in there as well onto this three terabyte drive. And I'm gonna go free up some space. This is what we're Josh doing, I'm out.